Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel review my CDR. Today we are going to learn how to write career episodes for CDR. In this video we will learn. What is career episode? Project selection for career episode. Length of career episode. Then the dues for career episodes. And at the end we will tell you about the sections of career episode. Career episode writing for engineers Australia skill assessment process represents your knowledge and experience in engineering and it can be either from education or work experience. Each career episode should be based on a specific period or distinct aspect of your engineering activity, and all three episodes should be from different periods or aspects of your engineering activity. It is important to provide evidence that how you have applied engineering knowledge and skills in the nominated occupation. Career episodes should be written in your own words and use good English. Plagiarism in career episode is not recommended as it will lead you get banned for one year, lose money, and time wastage. Engineers Australia use best plagiarism detection software which can identify the sentences taken from previously submitted CDR or from any published material available on internet. Career episodes can be based upon an engineering task undertaken as part of your educational program, a project you have worked on or are currently working on, a specific position that you occupied or currently occupy, in this case, the career episode must comprise more than a mere duty statement. A particular engineering problem that you were required to solve. What should be the length of career episode? The length of each career episode should be from 1000 to 2500 words. And there is no need to present large amount of technical data in career episodes. Career episode dues. Good written communication. Application of engineering knowledge and skills. Emphasize your personal role, what you did and how. Use first person singular for example I designed, I investigated. Excessive technical data, photos, calculations, tables, is not required. Emphasize any engineering problems identified by you and any particular problem solving techniques you applied. Number each paragraph in each of career episode and write those numbers in SS. The numbering of paragraphs should be in this format, career episode 1, paragraphs 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, career episode 2, paragraphs 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, etc. Career episode 3, paragraphs 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc. Each career episode should be written in four sections. The sections that are supposed to be written in each career episode are Introduction Background Personal Engineering Activity Summary We will further discuss these section in this video. First section is Introduction the length of the introduction section should be approximately 100 words. Introduction should contain the following information. Chronology. Dates and duration of the career episode. Geographical location where the experience was gained. Name of the organization. Title of the position occupied by you. The second section is background. Background provides the context in which you have been working or studying. The length of the background section should be from 200 to 500 words. It should contain the following information. Nature of the overall engineering project. Objectives of the project. Nature of your particular work area. A chart of the organization structure or organogram highlighting your position, in relation to the career episode. Job description or statement of your duties, provide an official duty statement where available. Personal engineering activity is the third and most important section. This is the main section of any career episode, and it describes the actual work performed by you as an engineer. Its length should be from 500 to 1000 words. In this section, 
you need to focus on the engineering tasks performed by you. You should describe your own role rather than teamwork. This section should contain the following information. How you applied your engineering knowledge and skills. Tasks delegated to you and how you went about accomplishing them. Any particular technical difficulties or problems you encountered and how you solved them. Strategies devised by you including any original or creative design work. How you worked with other team members. The fourth and the last section is the summary. In this section you need to conclude your impressions of the engineering activity and your role in it. Its length should be from 50 to 100 words. Summary section should contain the following information. Your view of the overall project. How the project fared in meeting the goals slash requirements. How your personal role contributed to the project. CDR writing, for Engineers Australia. Competency demonstration report, CDR, samples, writing and review services are available for those engineers and ICT professionals who wants to GT positive skill assessment from Engineers Australia at economical prices. We have hundreds of satisfied successful clients who used our migration skills assessment report writing services and got positive skills assessment through Engineers Australia in first attempt. If you need any help do contact us. Thank you for your time.